people always ask us, do you guys carry GND filters with you? And the answer we always give them is, yes, we do. Now, the question comes up is, in today's world, where you can do high-speed bracketing and then blend your photos together, why do you need a GND filter, which allows you to reduce the dynamic range of the scene? Well, there are occasions where GND filter will make your life a lot easier. Let's say you're trying to photograph a scene on a windy day where you have trees that are moving around. In order to simplify your post-processing, it would help if you can capture that photograph in a single exposure. So if your dynamic range on a windy day with the trees is really high, you can use a GND filter and get everything right in camera with a single exposure. Another reason to carry GND filter is if you're trying to time your exposure. Let's say you're shooting on a beach and you're trying to capture a splash of the wave just as it hits the rock. If you have a GND filter, you can manage the dynamic range of the sunset or sunrise. And using a remote release and a GND filter, you can capture precisely as the wave hits that rock and creates a beautiful splash in the foreground. Now, not having a GND filter and relying on bracketing will make the timing of this photograph really difficult to manage. So what GND filter allows us to do is simplify our life in situations where it's either windy or whether you're trying to time the shot just right and manage the dynamic range.